Aloha. The topic for this video is going to be detecting ranges with gaps. And we're going to go over two different kinds, implicit and explicit. So the first type we're going to talk about is uh, basic ranges with gaps. So let's say you want to uh, give a discount to people of certain ages. Let's say that uh, anybody in the kid's age of maybe, I don't know, uh, 10 years and uh, younger, you're going to give a discount. And people that are a certain age are more, let's say, senior citizen discounts around 65 or so. You're going to give them a discount as well. Well, you can uh, do this with the same kind of constructs and relational operators that we've been using up until now. So I'm going to go ahead and give you an example. So give me just a second to share my screen. So pulling up good old VS Code. And here we have uh, pretty much the example. We're going to go first with the implicit. So we're going to check to see if an age is, uh, we're, we're going to do movie tickets, let's say. So we're going to check and see if an age is anything less than 10. So uh, there's no need to really you know, check below zero. You kind of figure it's going to be above zero, but you know who knows. Uh, uh, so we're going to uh, check there. Uh, and then on the other side, we're going to be checking from 65 to infinity. So uh, this is going to be uh, implicit because we're not really going to be, we're going to be relying on those two things and then saying anything outside of that range, we're just going to do a catch all and uh, have the discount set to zero. So anyways, uh, when you look here, we have price equals uh, 25. That's going to be our standard price. Uh, our test age here is going to be 13. And then uh, we're going to say if the age is uh, less than uh, 10, we're going to give a discount of uh, five. If the age is over 65, we're going to get a discount of five. Else, the discount is equal to zero. And it's important to put discount is equal to zero here because uh, unless we go up here and we put discount uh, equals zero as an initializer, uh, we could do that. We could actually put uh, discount equals zero and then get rid of the else catch all right here because if it gets through the first two and it doesn't have it, then implicitly it's going to uh, know that the discount is zero. Then when we get down here to price minus equals discount, we're not going to have a problem. If you were to omit this discount equals zero and you did not have discount equals zero up here in the beginning as an initialization, you're going to hit an error if you hit that case. So let's say they're somewhere in the range of 10 to 65, that implicit area that uh, you're not covering for in the, the if else. Uh, it, if it's if we don't end up setting that discount, we'll get down here and we're going to say price minus equals discount. Discount won't be defined, and you're going to hit it an error right there. So um, that's why we put it either as uh, you know we'd either put it up here discount equals zero or we put an else catch all down here. So anyways, uh, let me I've got some code down here. Let me go ahead and comment all that out real quick so the uh, results that we're going to see here are just due to this first program. So if we go in here and we do our little uh, run of code, uh, we're gonna see that the result is 25 because at 25 with an age of 13, they don't fall under the age of 10. They don't fall uh, above 65. So discount is zero, it's gonna stay at 25. But if we change it to, uh, let's say nine, and we run that again, hold on, let me do a save, and then we run it. We're going to see it's 20. Why is it 20? Because we started with $25. It's less than 10. So we take $5 off. And now we have a price of uh, $20. So what about the border case? We're just going to test that border case. Save it and then run it. And we have 25 because the border, it has to be less than. And it's not a less than an equal here. So it's going to not give us a discount. So then how about 65? Change the age to 65. What should have happened here? Well, let's run it. And we see that's 25 because it has to be greater than 65. So that's the edge case there. Make it 66, save it, and we run it again, and we get the $5 discount. So there you have it. So um, this is the implicit way of doing it. So now let me comment out this code, and let's look at how you explicitly define the same thing. So here we're going to do it explicitly. Again, uh, price is 25, we're gonna set age to nine for testing purposes. So we're gonna explicitly say that the age being great, <clears throat> if the age is greater than zero and the age is less than 10, discount is gonna be five. Elif, the age is greater than 65 and uh, the age is less than equal to eh, 4,322, sounds like a good number. Uh, then we're gonna give a discount of five. Else, if the age is, now here we explicitly say, if the uh, age 
is uh, greater than or equal to 10 and the age is less than or equal to 65, the discount is gonna be zero. So that's actually explicitly stating that middle range here. Then we do price minus equals discount and we print the price. So if we take this and we run it, what do we get? We should get a $5 discount. So sure enough, we get a $20 discount. Now, if we change that uh, age to 10 and hit that edge case, we run it again, we're back at 25 because we're not in between that range. So we don't get a discount. So now if we look at the other end, <clears throat> let's look at 65, see what 65 gets us. And uh, let me go ahead and clear this out. So if we run it, 65 gets us squat. We don't get anything because remember, we have to be greater than 65. So we change it to 66, save our program, and then run it, and we get 20 as expected. So this is the difference between doing it implicitly and explicitly. Up here with implicitly, we're leaving it, uh, we're saying every, anything here less than 10, greater than 65, anything else, it, the catch-all. Down here, we're actually stating what our ranges are using relational operators. We're using the greater than or equals, we're using the less than, uh, less than and the greater than. So use all these to set up your explicit ranges. So you say exactly what ranges are gonna be you know, for each of these branches. So that's the, uh, that's the lesson for today. It's a nice, short, sweet one. And uh, join us next time where we're gonna be continuing our discussion with uh, detecting multiple features with branches. Until then, have a wonderful day.